Um, but always loved the more adult eps. My favorite was Helga on the Couch. Did Nick ever stop an episode from airing for being too mature for children? We had a point after Mary. Mary was done after two seasons. Mary Harrington, who was the exec producer and, and our, our boss, our exec from representing Nickelodeon. After Mary left after season two and we were doing season three, which was a favorite season for me because we were we realized I was it was going to be me. I was going to be in charge. The, the execs after that weren't going to have the power over me that Mary had. Mary had greenlit the se series and and I owed a lot to her. The people who were kind of put up after that. I was like, I don't have to do what this person says. I can I'll just say, hey, I know Arnold better than you do. And, uh, and you really need to just kind of like let me do it. But the, in that in that third season, there was a point where there's a the the second Coach Wittenberg episode. I think it might even just be called Coach Wittenberg. The first one was called Bench Warmer, mm -hmm. but the second one was the one where his wife kicks him out, and and Arnold has to kind of like I don't know life the coach mediator. him a little bit. Yeah. They actually were like you know we have a problem with this. We just kind of want to put a pause on things for a second here. Why are there all these adults with all this airtime? They were like, Coach Wittenberg has more lines than Arnold. And I was like, yeah, it's a Coach Wittenberg episode. And they were like, well, we're not comfortable with, you know, doing all these adult characters. And I said, well, it's just the way it's going to be, Arnold. We Arnold needs to be this kind of like wise little Buddha who keeps kind of helping people. And so it, Steve loved to write loser adult characters. He loved them, man. Oscar was a self-portrait. Um Coach Wittenberg was John Greenberg did the first one, but everybody knew an asshole coach from middle school or whatever. And in fact, jo uh, Jim Belushi, who voiced him, was like, oh, God, mine mine was and he named the coach. I can't remember the coach's name, but he says, I'm just channeling this asshole coach I had in seventh grade. And so, you know, they that we loved adult characters, especially Steve. Steve loved loser adult men. He just loved them. There were so many. If you if you look back, Dino Spumoni, which was another kind of group creation. I, I had a Steve and I both loved to listen to Frank Sinatra. And we we just loved how Frank's kind of a goon. He's 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 both insanely talented, just like a legend, at the same time says things that you're like, oh my God, that's shocking that he could say something so misogynist or whatever. But he 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 was Frank. He was Frank, you know. He did it his way. And uh, so, you know, that's why we came up with Dino. But anyway, we had a lot of adult characters and they were usually men and they were usually kind of fucked up. And and uh, uh, so that was the struggle. But we won. What can I say, man? They, they told us, you know, we don't want you to do this or we don't want this to be so much. And I actually did get a pretty big pushback on Helga on the couch. I, I know that was her favorite episode. Um, people kind of didn't want me to do Helga on the couch either. Did Now... Luckily, I prevailed. I'm glad you did. And this is something that I've actually had come up a couple times during my episodes. So 2016 is when I got out of the military. I, I ended up getting hurt. I, I hurt my neck and my back. And they ended up putting me on some medication that was known to help with nerve pain. But it also had some slippery slopes when it came to um, side effects. Uh, I had never been depressed in my life until I took the medication. And when you're in the military, you really can't say no, because when you go to get out, if you said no to any kind of medication, they write down in your little medical folder. And then when you try to go and get help after, they say, well, you refused help when you're in. So we're going to refuse helping you on the way out. It's a very fucked up system when it comes to veterans, right? So I took this medication fucked up my head real bad right i just remember you know it's not like i was overly happy all the time i wasn't overly joyous you know i was kind of even keeled you know i've always had a little bit of a temper but i mean i was pretty even keeled when it came to up and down right uh i hit a real dark low real dark low you know depression and when you are in the military you know at least when i was going through it um they kind of treat you like cancer when you start having mental issues right when you start to feel depressed and you can't really shake it so they kind of they do the worst thing that you can do to somebody that's going through some shit and they ostracize you they put you away they treat you like cancer they don't really want you spreading your cancer and they tell you to man up they tell you to quit being a pussy they tell you hey man it, you just tough it out you know so they don't they didn't look at least then they didn't look very kindly on you know mental issues or you know mental instability or anything like that um Seeing this episode as an adult, it made me okay with therapy, right? Because they push that macho man bullshit. You know, you could pull yourself up by the bootstraps. You can do this. You can get through this shit. Just 
pull your head out of your ass essentially is what they tell you you know i see this episode as an adult and i'm like well if they did this in a cartoon and this makes it seem like they're working through some things i feel like there's something here right mm-hmm. so anytime something like this depression comes up or anything when it comes to therapy ladies and gentlemen it, it it might not seem like it helps right away, but I, I promise you it will help eventually if you keep going, if you be open minded. And that's what I was that's what I had such an issue with. I was very closed off because I felt like it would make me soft. I felt like it wouldn't help. I wouldn't do shit. Then I see this, like I said, I see this episode a little bit, you know, later, and then I start going to therapy and I feel like, oh fuck. It does help to have somebody listen to you, talk to you, work you through, and they're not judging you at any point in this conversation. So Hats off to you guys for pushing that one through because I, I get yeah. I got to imagine you've helped a lot of people with that episode. Yeah, I've heard more kind of testimonials about that one than almost any other mm-hmm. about how how important it was for them. Yeah, 